mix-ups as far as the combos go. He's very down air heavy. I'll give him that. Yeah, that's true. He's very down I air heavy. I actually heard him talking about that earlier in the day, at the like when we were warming up. So yeah, I'm excited to see it. All right, here we go. A classic start. This will be interesting for me because I haven't seen too much Bowser Jr. despite the buffs. Right. Can you remind me what those buffs were at all? Just a whole bunch of more like consistency with the multi hits, stuff like that. Mm, okay, I'll have to ask Yoda about it next time. But yeah, honestly, the thing that I noticed from that I noticed from Crate when you were playing him was how willing he was to just be in the air and jump. And I feel like you're way more grounded. You like yes. to use Yoshi's tilts to kind of force force different situations. Right now, that that airborne playstyle is kind of hurting him because yeah. Yoda Cage is tracking every movement. Okay, a little shield. Yep, there's that down here you were talking about. But he just ah, but he whip. just clown cars out, clown cars again. Yeah, Yoda Cage in full control already. Crate definitely have a hard, having a hard time kind of establishing himself, getting back. Wow. Sometimes you just got to go for it. That a was read, a great reach. A read on the drift, for sure. Okay, the Nair stuff's clown cart that time. So maybe if he can figure out that's that like positioning, he can, he can stuff it more often. It's all about the spacing with it. Oh, that was an up air. He could have gotten the nice string. Yeah. But now Yoda's getting his own string. Kinda Look at that. Mashed out of there with the Nair, and then he got his own, he got his own combo off the pop-up. So that was good. Parry, just jabs. Nice. Yeah, wow, okay, he's really building this lead up. And yeah, he's kind of taking advantage of a lot of the jumps that Crate's doing already with, uh, with the up air strings. Not gonna kill. Not yet, but I appreciate the attempt. Mm, uh, maybe that one. A little yeah. early. Yeah, he just barely gets through. Uh, I don't know if he wanted to do that. Probably an up air, right? He didn't trust that his egg was gonna hit, so he air dodged instead of punishing. I give him credit, though, he tried to play safe. He's doing, he's doing a bit of a better job working himself out of the corner. Clown oh. Car's going to kill, though. Yeah, Yoda definitely uh, took the brief few minutes of, like, unfamiliarity, maybe, and kind of ran with it. He's doing really well, trying to challenge Crate, trying to challenge Crate on a lot of different things that maybe he wasn't prepared for. The one thing I'm really noticing with how Yoda's dealing with this is it's he very much has the obvious knowledge of the Yoshi matchup because he's keeping the Yoshi airborne. Yeah, a lot yeah. of people get upset because of how much Yoshi can do in the air, but at the same time, Yoshi can't do anything when they're above. Mm, yeah, getting under him is for sure. A it's much so hard. And there's so much damage right now. Yeah, this is looking real rough. And three That's stock. That's it. A three stock. The young yeah. 30. Three piece with the soda. Jorge Masvidal. Definitely looking rough. Hey, let's go, hey, GWJ you, with the five gift thank subs. You, David, much appreciated. For five that's the first time I've ever had to say that. I, like, I'm not a streamer, so. Fair enough. Yeah, I just looked over and saw it. I feel like That's the, hype, though. I feel like the uh, what is it called? The enthusiasm needs to needs to be there for streamers. Like, yo, <laughs> thank you, GW Jumpman, BDB, for gifting five tier one subs to the community. Shoutouts to East PA Brawl community. I feel old. You don't look old. I appreciate that, but I feel old. <laughs> We have a lot of Brawl players from around here, though. It's true. still play yeah. Ultimate, so that's pretty cool. Bringing the, bring the old game knowledge. Whether we like it or not, we still play. Yeah. we got to support the community. That's true. Whether it's Brawl 1, Brawl 2, or Brawl 3. Just kidding. So, <laughs> running in, I think, Small Battlefield, game right? Two, yeah, Small Battlefield. What do you think he's trying to get done with Small Battlefield? So, the reason why he would go to any of the Battlefield variations like cool. that is uh, turtling under the platforms. Because even though Bowser Jr. gets just as much... Yoshi's combo game can just be further exemplified by it. That's true. Okay. So the ban was probably Battlefield, you think? Absolutely. So get rid of the top platform. You ban Battlefield, Battlefield against the, next, the Yoshi. The next best thing would be... Okay, I Unless see. the Yoshi's known to be a camper, you ban Triplats. Yeah, that makes sense, for sure. I mean, Yoda's kind of picking up where he left off, although it's a bit more even on the first stock. Full jumps out of the corner and gets a dare. Crate's making a couple stage. spacing adjustments. For sure. I noticed that, too. Whoa. Okay, yeah, a little, a little crazy, but the end lag doesn't seem to be too bad. Yoda escapes. Whoa! Ooh, good I call I like out. that little setup. Yeah. Uh, back, drifted though. a little too far out. Yeah, this downer, this like descending downer is getting him some mileage, but I'd like Excellent to see a little pair. more. We're back Ooh. in this situation. We've been here many a time. Yoda seems to really excel there. Kind of get himself, kind of get himself a lot of damage and eventually the KO. Yeah, basically at this point, all Yoda has to do is force him off stage if he can't get his kill. Oh, that's it. That's that. Very nice parry. You're dead. Yeah. All he has to do is force him up above, let him waste his double jump, 
and then just throw out an option that either forces him back out if it's a weak hit or kills. Building up the damage still here. Yoda, Yoda kind of going crazy a little bit. Ah, uh, that's a bit of a reach. I think he missed his double jump. Yeah, that was just going the ledge. Yes, sir. I like that. The Tim cover and everything. <laughs> Honestly. Ah, uh, no. Nah. He's downers, but like the conversion's just not there. It's only like 20%. There we go. Okay, a back air. Well, that's still doable. This is two. This is two down airs away. Yeah, exactly. He can definitely. And there's one, but he didn't get the full. Gets four. Good yeah. Z drop. Nah. Oh, okay. Back on. Oh. Yeah, I think. I think now, especially with Yoda Cage having the lead he does, maybe he's like aware that uh, Crate doesn't have like the full scope of the matchup or something, and he's trying some. Cheeky I, I don't know if it is so much Crate not knowing the matchup I can believe as it that. is I can believe that. Yoda Cage knowing it. Because like, no, he's got the practice. Knowing his own character and knowing Yoshi. Yeah. That's true. I should definitely give props to Yoda for that. Oh, uh, try to go for the shield break knowing he was just going to get up shield. But, nope. Uh, okay. Good hey, lean we back. We got the lead now. See? Now we're... Okay, yeah. Crate. Let's see if we can get one more down air. Maybe a full conversion. That would really help, I think. He almost got the kill there. He was a little bit late on triggering yeah, the attack part of the side B, but he cleared it up anyway. Yeah, a little overzealous. I feel like the I feel like Crate's doing a couple panic jumps and then got, maybe in that situation and get caught. So, yeah, he seems to be very comfortable jumping into the air. Another thing I'm noticing is Crate doesn't like to use forward tilt. He likes to just go for the up tilt reverse, which it's cheeky, but in this matchup you need to be more practical. That would be, oh. yeah, yeah. Now you he's eating the percent. Use your better hitboxes and stuff. He's not dead, but that's such one good more, damage. One more, probably from Yoda. Whoa, parries. Very good. Great one at the edge there. Yeah, that is sure. Oh, oh that's the dodge. coverage. Back air. Okay, here, big situation. Big, big moment. Nah, not quite. Lean back. He's too afraid. Oh, okay. Oh, what? Oh, okay. Props. Props. So. What happened there was, a lot of people forget that the initial part of side B extends the hurt box, mm. and that's why the full oh, air hit. Oh yes, you're right. Yeah, so, so it's the absolute car... garbage so, that that's a thing. So the clown but it car is a got thing. him killed. That's very good. All right. So we go into game three. We Let's go crate. Going to game three. Turn it around for sure. It yeah. was looking rough, but the adaptation has been made. So. For Let's sure. See. Now, if I'm crate. Uh, if I'm Crate, I'm hoping he doesn't take me to, like, Northern Cave. Pray, I'm praying for something with no platforms Town. on the outside. Like Town, Town is not a good thing. I'd be I'd be terrified right now because the moving platforms allow Bowser Jr. to have a lot more variability with the lead. That makes sense. Okay. Wow, so, the late hit gets an 11. It's up to Crate right now to make sure that he does not drop his lead no matter what. Yeah, yeah, the maneuverability for sure. That'll, that'll make it difficult. Oh, okay. That percent. Oh, okay, oh nice didn't hit. read the DI right. Patience. Uh, no nair out of shield. See, and there we go. There's the percent. Uh, this is a rough situation. No no platforms, though. Barely gets out. See, right now, now we got the FD situation. Yeah, this is... Okay, wow, just comes down with there. Footstool, don't think okay, that, one, that okay. was intended. Another weak egg, nice. Yeah, yeah. Ledge situation, what can we get? Nah, not quite. You went for up smash out of shield. Yeah. I respect it, but it would, wouldn't work. Well, okay, I do like that little setup. Puts, him, puts himself on the ledge. Patience. Oh, yep. yep. That was a good call. A lot of okay. people underestimate the amount of uh, time you have before. <laughs> That'll work. Okay, That'll fair work. enough. Sure, why not? All right, you got it. Oh, that's a good percent. Up throw, though, yeah, that's like a 35%. Now, again, we, it's basically Kalos setup where we got those wide platforms on the outside, and Yoshi's going to struggle to try and get in. And he's behind, so now he's just going to eat damage for responses. Whoa. And he eats the... Yeah. Yep, there we no, go. we're alive, we're alive. But he jumped. He jumped. Oh, and he gets through with the down air. He's really relying on that move. Uh, up, yeah. up smash out of shield. He faded too far in. It's so hard to try to get in against any character with disjoints. Mm, yeah. Like, you have big hitboxes, but your hurtbox is there, too, so... Went for the jump read, 825. 
this okay, is still okay. doable. Yeah, yeah, for sure. But this is so scary. Yeah, the, it's definitely Morton just going to be running with this lead, hoping, trying to catch him running, running in with the approach with the nair. Oh, oh for the hard okay, lead. Okay, down he's okay, okay, okay. Maybe okay. another, maybe uh, maybe a cheeky little gimp. Maybe now a nice doable, combo. but so hard. Yeah, this looks difficult though. You're just gonna, and, you're oh, gonna fine. be watching Yoda chill in center stage and just wait for crate to come in. Yeah, you gotta find a way for sure. Oh. Oh, wait. the roll uh, out. Okay. Air dodge. So I think he's gonna make it back. And, mm, yeah. Okay. So the fair maybe a bit unsafe, maybe a bit overzealous. I respect it because he was just trying to get something going. Yeah. But you need it at that point for sure. Good set either way. Crate lost. Two one. Heartbreakers. Close. Okay. Cool, can you